The Israeli military said Friday it carried out an airstrike on the central headquarters of Hezbollah in Beirut, where a massive explosion leveled buildings in a southern district, sending clouds of orange and black smoke billowing in the skies. The strike in the Beirut suburb of Dahia came shortly after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu addressed the UN, vowing that Israel's campaign against Hezbollah would continue. Not long before the explosion, thousands were massed in the suburb for the funeral of three Hezbollah members, including a senior commander, killed in earlier strikes. There was no immediate word on casualties in the strike. The Israeli army spokesman, Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari, said it targeted the main Hezbollah headquarters, located beneath residential buildings. Videos circulating online showed a series of large explosions going off in densely populated areas. Israeli media reported the 2,000-pound bunker buster bombs were used in the strikes. Hezbollah run Almana TV reported that 15 missiles were used in the strike and four buildings were leveled with the ground. Ambulances were seen headed to the scene of the explosions, sirens wailing. Israel dramatically intensified its airstrikes in Lebanon this week, saying it is determined to put an end to more than 11 months of Hezbollah fire into its territory. The scope of Israel's operation remains unclear, but officials have said a ground invasion to push the militant group away from the border is a possibility. Israel has moved thousands of troops toward the border in preparation. هيدا الطاولة بارك هيدا مبنى زين الدين مخيم لا مش مخيم هيدا صبل ما بعد محدد سهيل وين اخوان هياها قدامي هياها هياها صبل المخيمات هون على هيدا على العاملين مخيم البرد Russian President Vladimir Putin met with Equatorial Guinea's President Teodoro Obiang Ngema in Moscow. Putin said Russia has been successfully cooperating with oil-rich Equatorial Guinea in the Gas Exporting Countries Forum and the OPEC+. Our common task, of course, is to stabilize world energy markets, Putin said. The two leaders will discuss bilateral ties as well as the current international and regional topics, the Kremlin said. Дорогие друзья, еще раз 
Всех вас приветствую в Москве. А своем выступлении стало заметной частью международной энергетической повестки. На этом мероприятии ваша страна является нашим партнером и в организации производителей газа, экспортеров газа, и в ОПЕК+. плюс. Мы сотрудничаем давно с Экватерной Гвинеей и успешно. Нашей общей задачей, безусловно, является стабилизация мировых энергетических рынков и в целом вместе с партнерами в рамках этих организаций нам удается эту задачу достаточно эффективно решать. Субтитры